Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're hopping in our virtual tour bus and taking a trip to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's got bridges, history, and pierogies. What more could you ask for? We're going to explore the 10 best places to visit. So buckle up, grab your imaginary Primanti brother sandwich. Don't worry, we'll get to those later and get ready for some fun. Let's dive in. First stop, Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. This place is like walking into a dream, especially if you're a plant lover like me. Phipps isn't just pretty, it's got history. They've been around since 1893, can you believe it? They've got these incredible Victorian glass houses, and the way the light streams through them is just magical. Whether you're a serious horticulturalist or just someone who enjoys a good stroll through a beautiful garden, Phipps is a must-see. Next up, get ready to travel back in time at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. This place is dynamite. They have one of the best dinosaur exhibits in the world, with real fossils and these massive skeletons that'll make you feel like a tiny ant. But it's not just dinosaurs, folks. They have exhibits on everything from ancient Egypt to the mysteries of the rainforest. Now let's head to Point State Park, where Pittsburgh's three rivers, the Allegheny, Monongahela, and Ohio, come together. Talk about a view. This is where the city was born, folks. Plus, the park is just gorgeous, with walking paths, fountains, and plenty of green space to relax and enjoy the scenery. Don't forget your camera, because you're going to want to capture the panoramic views of the city skyline from here. Pop art fans, this one's for you. The Andy Warhol Museum is a must-see for any art lover. Warhol, the king of pop art, was born and raised right here in Pittsburgh, and this museum is a tribute to his incredible talent. You'll see his iconic Campbell's soup cans, the Marilyn Monroe portraits, and so much more. Warhol's art was all about challenging the ordinary and finding beauty in everyday objects. Plus, the museum itself is an architectural gem. All right, folks, get ready for one of the coolest experiences in Pittsburgh, the Duquesne Incline. It's one of the oldest funiculars in the country, dating back to the 1870s. Basically, it's like a trolley car that takes you up the side of a mountain. But the real treat is the view from the top. You'll get a breathtaking panorama of the city, especially at sunset. It's a little bit of a thrill ride, a little bit of history, and a whole lot of amazing views. Next up, it's time for some animal adventures at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. This place has it all. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my, and penguins. Don't forget the penguins. It's the perfect place to spend the day with the whole family, learning about animals from all over the world. Now let's dive into the rich history of Pittsburgh at the Heinz History Center. And yes, it's the same Heinz as the ketchup and pickles. This museum tells the story of Pittsburgh from its industrial roots to its present-day renaissance. You'll learn about the steel industry, the city's role in American history, and so much more. Plus, you can check out the Western Pennsylvania Sports Museum, which is housed within the Heinz History Center. Get ready for some serious wow factor at Mount Washington. This is the place to go for the most incredible views of Pittsburgh, hands down. You can take the incline up to the top, it's an experience in itself, and then wander around, taking in the sights. There are restaurants, shops, and parks where you can just sit and soak it all in. My advice, go at sunset for the most magical experience. Calling all foodies. The Strip District is a must visit for anyone who loves to eat and who doesn't. It's this vibrant, bustling neighborhood packed with ethnic markets, street vendors, and restaurants serving up flavors from around the world. It's a feast for the senses. Be sure to come hungry and wear comfortable shoes because you're going to want to spend hours exploring all the culinary delights this neighborhood has to offer. Last but not least, we're finishing our tour at a truly unique landmark, the Cathedral of Learning. This skyscraper isn't just any building, it's the tallest educational building in the Western Hemisphere. These rooms, located on the first and third floors, represent the cultures of different ethnic groups that settled in Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful blend of history, culture, and education, and definitely worth a visit. And there you have it, folks, the 10 best places to visit in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. From gardens and museums to inclines and a market that will make your taste buds sing, 
Pittsburgh has something for everyone. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more travel fun, and tell me in the comments below which Pittsburgh spot you're most excited to visit. Until next time, keep on exploring!